What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and yes, it's time for another pop off with Madison. For today's pop off, you guys, as you can tell, I'm very excited for it because we are talking about my girl Taylor Swift because you guys, I think we have a situation on our hands. So as you all know, Taylor Swift is currently in her single girl era, which it's sounding like it might be a very short single girl era because as I briefly mentioned in my YouTube short yesterday, there are now two dating rumors surrounding our girl, one of which is actually because coming more legit by the minute. And yes, the more legit dating rumor that I'm talking about is this rumor that Taylor Swift is dating the front man from the 1975's Maddie Healy. You guys, so much more tea has developed regarding this situation since I posted my video yesterday and I need more than a minute to get into this with you guys. So we're gonna really dive into this Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy rumor because I don't know what to think, I don't know how to feel, so obviously I need to talk to the House of Hill about this. So without further ado, you guys, because I know your time is very very precious as we get closer to the weekend and you know sometimes when it comes to Taylor Swift I literally cannot stop myself from talking so I'm gonna go ahead and just get straight to it and get straight to unwrapping these Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy facts. Okay so real quick you guys for those of you who might need a little refresher news broke at the beginning of last month that Taylor Swift and her boyfriend Joe Alwyn were going their separate ways after six years together. When this news broke we were shocked we were heartbroken we were sad and then we got this People Magazine report where Soar shared that you know Joe Joe Alwyn just couldn't handle the level of fame Taylor Swift has after all these years, which you guys know absolutely killed me because one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs is her song, Peace, where she literally sings about how she will never be able to give him peace. Joe Alwyn was seemingly okay with that until recently. And so as someone who was a big fan of Joe and Taylor together, after that People Magazine report came out, I definitely started giving Joe Alwyn the side eye a little bit. I became a little skeptical of the man. And obviously, as expected with any celebrity breakup, you guys, there has has been some drama since Joe and Taylor went their separate ways. I'm sure you guys saw that several of Taylor Swift's famous friends started unfollowing Joe Alwyn on Instagram after the breakup news broke. I also unfollowed Joe Alwyn on Instagram as an act of solidarity. But you guys, all of that unfollowing kind of came on the heels of a rumor that Joe Alwyn might have cheated on Taylor Swift with his co-star Emma Laird. They're working on a project together right now. So recently you guys, Emma posted a March photo dump on Instagram and in the that photo dump was a photo of Joe with some scooters and apparently she posted a very similar photo back in January. So Swifties immediately took to the comment section. They were being detectives. They were calling Emma out. They were thinking that maybe Joe and Emma crossed a line. It was a whole thing. It was a pretty big cheating rumor in the Swiftie sphere, if you will. And like I said, it did cause a lot of Taylor's famous friends to start unfollowing Joe. So do with that information what you will. And now you guys, in true Taylor Swift fashion, the poor girl is barely single and she is already making headlines for multiple dating rumors. So the first dating rumor actually had to deal with F1 driver Fernando Alonso. Now I didn't know who Fernando Alonso was before this but I do now and I will say he is very easy on the eyes. So you guys this rumor started from a tip that was sent in to Dumois and apparently Spanish news outlets have been reporting that Fernando and Taylor have started dating and talking a little bit now that they're both single. Apparently he's fresh off of a breakup as well and this man has absolutely been playing into the rumors. He recently posted a TikTok where he was lifting 22 pound weights and he captioned the TikTok saying, I'm lifting 22s. He obviously put Taylor's hit 22 in the background of his TikTok. So he was just really feeding into this rumor. And while normally I'm not a fan of someone using our girl Taylor Swift to make headlines, in his TikTok he did use 22 Taylor's version. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shout him out for knowing the difference. And like I said, for making me potentially interested in race car driving. And that's about as serious as I think we need to take this Taylor Swift dating rumor because the new Taylor Swift dating rumor is one that actually I think has some traction. You guys, as of yesterday, I did not think there was really any possibility that Taylor Swift was actually dating the 1975's front man, Maddie Healy. But this morning I woke up, I put my clown nose on because there is some fresh tea that actually might point to the fact that this rumor is true. So if you guys missed my video yesterday, this rumor about Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy all started with a report from The Sun. And this source who spoke to The Sun claims that Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn actually broke up in February. So there was no crossover between Joe and Maddie. And I think this source noted that, you guys, because then they went on to say, quote, Taylor and Maddie are madly in love. It's super early days, but it feels right. Then this source went on to say that Taylor and Maddie did have a little fling in the past. And this would have been around 2013, 2014, you guys. There were rumors about 
about them during that time, but this source claims that the timing didn't work out back then. This insider then went on to share that both Taylor and Maddie are touring, which obviously we know our girls on the Eras tour. We know the 1975s are also touring as well. And apparently Taylor and Maddie have been texting and FaceTiming a lot and they can't wait to see each other next. This source then went on to shade Joe Alwyn a little bit, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of living for it. As the source said, quote, as two international megastars, they understand the pressures of one another's jobs better than anyone and are incredibly supportive of their respective careers. And then this insider went on to say that both Taylor and Maddie are, quote, massively proud about this relationship. And I know that definitely sounds like it has some British undertones because as Americans, we wouldn't really say massively proud. And I do want to note that The Sun is a UK outlet and Maddie Healy is also British. So it kind of sounds like the person spilling this tea to The Sun is somebody from Maddie Healy's inner circle. But again, that's just a pure speculation. That's just a little theory I had based on them saying that they're both massively proud. I could be looking way too far into this and I probably am. But anyway, you guys, the source went on to say that unlike Taylor's last relationship, which obviously was kept incredibly private, she quote, wants to own this romance and not hide it away. The source then ended their insider info saying, quote, Taylor just wants to live her life and be happy. She told pals Maddie is flying to Nashville over the weekend to support her on the next leg of her tour. Now, in addition to this report from The Sun, you guys, Dumois has been posting some fresh tea about these Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy rumors. And these pieces of tea are what is giving this situation a little more validity for me anyway, you guys. First of all, I think it was on her podcast, Dumois actually mentioned that she heard that Jack Antonoff is responsible for reconnecting Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy. And Jack Antonoff is one of Taylor's closest friends. So I kind of feel like if he put the idea in her head that maybe she should give Maddie Healy another go, that makes a little more sense to me as to how they might have reignited this old flame that was between them. And then another person sent in a tip to Dumois and confirmed that Taylor and Maddie did have a thing back in 2013. This person also claimed that Taylor Swift was so into Maddie at the time. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I think it was in 2014. Again, around that same time, Taylor Swift was actually seen wearing a 1975's t-shirt and everyone lost their freaking minds. Then another person said that their friend who works in PR said that Taylor and Maddie have for sure been dating the past few weeks. And then you guys, there was another tip that did have a lot of things extracted, but essentially this tip told a story about an interaction of someone close to Maddie letting it slip that him and Taylor are in fact dating. And even more recently, you guys, this was posted right before I filmed this video. Somebody wrote in and said that Maddie Healy actually changed up the set list at the most recent 1975 show. I guess he inserted a song called She's American. And before he started the song, he said, she is. And there is video proof of this. So people are thinking that that's Maddie Healy dropping a little hint that there is some truth to the rumors that him and Taylor are dating. And you guys, I don't know how to feel. I'm absolutely dying over this. And obviously, as you can tell, I need to get a lot of thoughts off my chest. So let's go ahead and make this pop up official and get to the shambong. Okay, you guys, so I guess First of all, I just have to say, I don't even know why I'm surprised or shocked that there are already dating rumors surrounding Taylor Swift when this poor woman is just three weeks off of her breakup from Joe Alwyn. Again, I know this Sun source is saying that Taylor and Joe broke up in February and that we didn't hear about it until April, which I do think there is some truth to that because somebody also wrote in to Dumois saying that Taylor and Joe had been struggling a little bit while she was prepping for her tour. They did decide to go on a break while she was touring and he was filming and then the plan was for them to kind of reconnect however that obviously didn't end up happening somebody leaked I think it was Joe's team leaked the news of the breakup and so then Taylor was like okay we are officially done but still you guys February wasn't that long ago and Taylor was with Joe for six whole years and again I am one of the people who thought that they were very serious I'm one of those people who believe that they had some sort of commitment ceremony and were making plans to make that official I believe they were making those plans pretty close up before they decided to take a break and then obviously break up. So I'm just saying, even if we take what this source is telling the Sun seriously, that Taylor and Joe broke up in February, I still feel like it is very soon for people to be saying that she is already madly in love with somebody else. I think it's really hard to be madly in love with somebody just a few months after you're out of a six year relationship where you were talking about marriage. So do I think that Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy are madly in love with one another? No. However, 
Do I think that Taylor Swift has a massive crush on Maddie Healy and is all about reigniting an old flame as a rebound situation? Yes, I can definitely believe that. I do think it is entirely possible that Taylor and Maddie have a little something going on. So sorry for those of you who were hoping that she would have something going on with that F1 driver. Again, I know he is very nice to look at, but I think that that was completely, completely just a rumor and that this Maddie Healy situation is clearly much more likely. I also can see these two reconnecting because they're both on tour right now. Artists have openly talked about how lonely touring can be. Yes, you're surrounded by people 24 seven, but you're also traveling all the time. You're never in the same place. You're never settled. So the fact that they're both going through that right now at the same time, I also believe that they are texting constantly. I believe that they're FaceTiming constantly. I believe that they're trying to make plans to meet up because again, touring can be a really lonely situation. So the fact that they're both going through this at the same time, I mean, it makes complete sense to me that they would be leaning on one another for support. And plus we all know whenever you're traveling like crazy, it's fun to have a little flirty fling with someone. It definitely makes traveling a lot easier. And also you guys, what better way to distract yourself from breaking up with a man who you thought you were gonna marry than reigniting an old flame with another British man who actually understands your career and actually understands what you're going through. I mean, I totally get it. I totally can see the Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy situation now. Now, as far as do I think Maddie Healy is the one for Taylor Swift? Do I think him and Taylor Swift are gonna last and make it the long haul? I don't know, you guys, I'm a little skeptical. Number one, this sun source threw me off a little bit whenever they said that Taylor Swift was ready to, you know, be very open about this relationship with Maddie and she didn't want it private like her last relationship. That just sounds a little out of bounds for Taylor Swift because previously in her career, she has gotten so much hate and we all know this because she was public about the fact that she was in her 20s and dating around like a normal person and she got dragged, she got called so many names, so many assumptions were made about her that weren't true, which is why she now keeps all of her romantic relationships incredibly, incredibly private. She wants to protect not only the person who she's in a relationship with, but also herself. So I find it a little hard to believe that now all of a sudden Taylor Swift would wanna be super public about a relationship. Of course, it's entirely possible after being so private about one. That definitely made me pause a little bit and think, oh, I don't know if Taylor and Maddie really have a long-term potential because I don't think Taylor Swift would want a long-term relationship with somebody who was so public, although maybe because that was one of the biggest issues with her and Joe's relationship, she wants to do a 180 and try something else. I don't know. I guess that is also possible. Sorry you guys, I know I'm all over this pop off because I'm totally going off my notes and just letting my brain go. So I guess it's possible that she could want to overcorrect and be super public about a relationship now, but ah, I don't know. I'm still getting the vibe that she would want to keep things private. So that part threw me off a little bit. Also, the other thing that's giving me pause about Maddie Healy, you guys, is that an interview he did back in 2014 has resurfaced where he made some questionable comments. So this 2014 interview was with NME Magazine and Maddie talked about a flirtation he had with someone that landed him on E! News. Obviously, he's talking about Taylor Swift. He said people were like, who's Maddie Healy? And he thought that that was pretty cool. He then went on to say in this interview that there really wasn't anything to talk about in regards to this flirtation. He went on to say that Taylor Swift didn't make a big impact on his life, which that makes me kind of sad to hear considering that source told Dumois that Taylor Swift was really into Maddie at this time. But back to this interview, you guys, at the time, Maddie said that the only reason people talked about him and Taylor's flirtation is because she's Taylor Swift. Then he went on to comment on if he would be worried about losing himself in the relationship if he actually publicly started dating Taylor Swift. And at the time he said, quote, yeah, absolutely. And the reason I mentioned that is because if I had gone out with Taylor Swift, I would have been in hell. I am not being Taylor Swift's boyfriend. He then went on to say, that's also a man thing, a demasculating, emasculating thing. Now he did later defend these comments. He said that he's not misogynistic and that he's just an idiot sometimes and he didn't really mean anything negative by it. But the fact that he is on record saying, I don't want to be known as Taylor Swift's boyfriend, that would be emasculating. I don't love that. Of course, like I said, he's apologized for that comment. That could have just been his younger ego talking. But that interview is making me kind of, again, 
side eye Maddie Healy a little bit. Like, okay, I gotta keep an eye on you, sir. So I don't know, you guys. Do I think that Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy maybe have something going on? Sure. But I think it's very casual. I don't think they're madly in love. I think that they are just two people who are in a similar situation right now and reigniting this old flame is definitely comforting to them. That's not saying that it can't get serious in the future. I just think right now at this current moment, it's not super serious. I think it's definitely something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. I think it will be very interesting to see if Maddie Healy shows up at any of Taylor Swift's upcoming shows or vice versa. And yeah, you guys, this situation's just absolutely crazy. Of course, at the end of the day, I just want Taylor Swift to be happy. I want her to live her best life. If she wants to be in a single girl era, I want her to live that single girl era up. I also hope that she releases Speak Now as her next re-record. I'm just putting it out there. And yeah, you guys, that's all I have for you on Taylor Swift. Now I want to hear all of your thoughts on these Taylor Swift and Maddie Healy dating rumors. So let out all your thoughts and feels down below. While you guys are at it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. For more content, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, don't forget to keep coming back to my channel to check out my YouTube shorts. If you guys want to show me a little extra love or you just want to make sure I see your comment, don't forget you can also hit that super thanks button down below. You guys can also check out all of my merch over at my merch store at houseofhill.com. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!